Well, Shabbat Shalom. Welcome again. Welcome to our Shabbat of love. Last Shabbat, we spoke about the grief and mourning of Tisha B'Av, the ninth of Av, a day when the first and second temples in Jerusalem were destroyed and are commemorated with rituals of mourning. But we also spoke about how the tradition gently moves us from grief to comfort. And as we move forward into these comforting days, we encounter a very minor Talmudic holiday, really only mentioned in a few tractates. Throughout much of Jewish history, Tu B'Av, or the 15th of Av, was observed only in ancient Israel. Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel describes the day as one of the most joyous in Israel, because on this day, the daughters of Jerusalem would dress in white and go out and dance in the vineyards and make it known that they were eligible for marriage. The men and women would greet each other and shidduchs or sacred matches were made. But these two days, Tisha B'Av and Tu B'Av, are very much in relationship with one another. On Tisha B'Av, we mourn all that is broken in our world, but on Tu B'Av, we celebrate all the possibilities of healing that brokenness might create. While on Tisha B'Av, we focus on the forces of destruction throughout Jewish history, on Tu B'Av, we engage in the tikkun, or fixing, by releasing as much love as possible into the world. And upon the establishment of the modern state of Israel, the holiday Tu B'Av came back into popularity as sort of a Jewish Valentine's Day. And the day till till today is auspicious as a good time to maybe find your partner, to get engaged, or even to hold a wedding. So tonight, over the course of Shabbat, we'll explore some of the texts and ideas associated with Tu B'Av and have a chance to celebrate love in our community in all forms. I hope that some of you saw in the E! News tonight that anyone who wants to celebrate their love will have a chance to come up to the Bima for a special blessing. And I even brought a love of my own. Poor Chi, no. <laughs> Shwa, you're here with me today. And I'm really excited that we get to celebrate a Shabbat together. Shwa, that's it. So again, everyone welcome, and we're really glad that we're all here. And of course, another celebration is also happening this Shabbat. Dana Shanker, you're being called to Torah this Shabbat as a bat mitzvah. So in addition to loving you, your family is, they have much pride and joy for you for this occasion. So we want to invite you, Dana, along with your mom, Laura, and your uh, grandmother, Jean, and Lori Dubrow, and Alice Lee, and Amy Lee, and you're going to begin our services by adding some light, lighting our Shabbat candles. So come on up, and the community can join us on page two and three. As these Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them, so may we, by our life, give light to all who behold us. As their brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light, so may we, in our own day, be among those who kindle light. Dana, you're right, you have to hold me. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Ha'olam 
asher kirishanu ba mitzvotav vetzivanu lehadikner lehadikner shal shaba. Mazel tov, Dina. We're going to see you at the end of services. Thank you to your family for lighting our candles and for being here tonight to celebrate with you. We are going to continue our service by welcoming Shabbat with the words of Lechad Odi. We're going to be on page 20. Do di li grat kala yala la yala la yala la pane shaba ne kavela We rise and turn to face the entrances of our spaces here in our sanctuary and at home. We welcome Shabbat into our sacred spaces. Shalom Ateret Bala Gam Besimcha Uvet Sohua Toch Emunei Am Segula Boi Kala Boi Kala Lecha Dodi Likrat Kala You may be seated. 
Yikara vikadash me raba. Ve amadi vracher te ve amlich malchute. Ve chaye chon uv yo me chon uv chaye de chobet Yisrael. Bagala bagala uv izmahan kariv. Ve yimeru amen. Yehesh me raba me vorach. Le olam olam me almaya yit barach yit barach vi ish tabach vi pa arvi roman vi nase vi et hadar vi et ale vi et halal shmeir kudusha barichu le elam in kol berchata ve shirata tush berchata ve nechamata da amiran be ama ve yimeru amen. One of those Talmudic descriptions about observing Tuba Av declares that it was on this day that members of different tribes were permitted to intermingle and meet one another. It said that on Tuba Av, the decree against intermarriage between tribes was officially dropped. Additionally, as the women wore white clothing out in the vineyards, they borrowed it from one another. The sages said, the daughter of the king borrows garments from the daughter of the priest, and the daughter of the priest borrows garments from the daughter of a soldier. I think that these two teachings remind us that love can be a great equalizer of all people. We are all deserving of love, and by joining together in a community, we see each other for both our differences and for what can bring us together. And we see one another as a community together through declaring that we stand as one, as one community for the Barhu. We rise and turn to page 28. together on page 30. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, asher bidvaro ma'ariv aravim, b'chokma potech sha'arim, uvivuna meshane itim, umachalif et hazmanim, umesader et hakolchavim, b'mishmer tehem berakia kertsono, bore yom velayla, golel or mipne p'hoshech, v'hoshech mipne or, Uma avir yom ume vi laila, uma abdil ben yom uven laila, adonai tzevaot shemo, el chai vekayam tamid yimloch alenu leolam vaed, baruch ata adonai hama ariv aravim. Sin Shema, page 34. Shema. 
Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. You may be seated. In the Ve'ahavta, we recite, and you shall love Adonai your God with all of your heart, with all your soul, and with all your being. The rabbis notice that it is a commandment to love God. But many have been challenged by this verse. Can we be commanded to love? How do we form a loving relationship with anyone, let alone God? Rashi believes that loving God means acting out of love, that we perform the mitzvot we are offered not because we are told to, but because we want to. We don't perform commandments out of fear or out of a fear of punishment, but purely because they come from our free will. So as we chant Ve'ahavta, this prayer reminds us that love is given, giving openly of one's heart, not for a reward, not for power or money or status, but that love is giving of ourselves, of our heart, our soul, our being, willingly to one another. Page 36. Ve'ahavta e'ed Adonai Elohecha V'chol levavcha u'v'chol nafshecha U'v'chol me'odecha V'hayu hadvarim ha'edle Asher anuchi mitzavecha Hayom ha'levavecha V'shinanta ha'mlevanecha V'dibarta ha'bam Beshivtecha ha befeitecha, Uvletecha ha vaderech, Ushof becha a uvkumecha, Ukshartam le o zalia decha, Vehayu le tota fold bain a necha, Uktavtam al mizuzo betecha, Uvisha recha, Lema hantis geru, Pasitam et comit votai, Vihitem kedoshim lelohechem, ani Adonai elohechem, asher hotzeiti erchem me'aretz mitzrayim lihiot lachem Elohim, ani Adonai elohechem, Adonai elohechem emet. We continue journeying through our prayer book. We continue with Micha Mocha, page 40.
walking in the light of God. We are walking in the light of God. We are walking in the light of God. We are walking. We are walking. We are walking in the light of God. We are walking. Did you know the most repeated commandment in Jewish tradition is about love? Love your neighbor as yourself, repeated in Torah 36 times, even inscribed right inside our ark doors. But what does it mean to love our neighbor? How do we show this love to others? The Mishnah, a practical text, describes loving one another as showing up in community, visiting the sick, comforting mourners, honoring those who we have lost, celebrating simchas and welcoming guests. Whatever we would expect from those in relationship with us, we must offer back. But a more mystical text, the Zohar, notes that loving ourselves is actually the hardest part of the commandment. We know in ourselves our deepest shortcomings, behaviors we want to improve. We carry the mistakes we have made. The Baal Shem Tov offers whatever we see in the mirror, we must see in our relationships and love it all anyway, both in ourselves and in one another. We sing Hashkivenu, page 42. Ashki venu Adonai Eloheinu l'shalom, l'shalom. V'hamidenu shomreinu l'chaim. Ufros aleinu sukat shlomecha, ufros aleinu sukat shlomecha. Let there be love and understanding among us. Let peace and friendship be our shelter from live storms. Adonai, help us to walk with good companions, to live with hope in our hearts and eternity in our thoughts, that we may lie down in peace and rise up waiting to do your will. Baruch Ata Adonai, Hapores Yukat Shalom, Aleinu Vel Kol Amo Yisrael. Amen. We stand and turn to page 46 to enter our Amida. Lai, <laughs> 
Morid Hatal Mechakel Chaim Bechesed Mechaye Hakol Berachamim Rabim So Mech no Flim Vero Feholim Umatir Asurim Umekaye M Munato Li Shane Afar Micha Mocha Baal Givu wrote U mito melach, melach me mi itu me chaye, u mats mi ach yeshua, vene emanata la chaye otako, barucha ta adonai, me chaye hako. Ata kadosh, vashim ka kadosh, kadoshim beko yom mi haleluha sela. Baruch atah Adonai ha'el ha'kadosh. We invite you at this time to continue your prayer silently. You can continue the words of the Amidah through page 63, or you can find a moment of silence. You can bring whatever is on your hearts and minds to this space, and whenever you're ready, you may be seated.
Dear God of our ancestors Help us renew our faith Grant us a perfect healing Bring peace to all our days tired spirits rejuvenate our light El Na Mishnah text that taught us loving is performing the commandments of being there for the sick. They go hand in hand knowing that there are going to be those around you to help you up when you fall, to care for you when you need it, to make sure you are not left alone in suffering, in pain. It's also part of being a community. It's not forgetting those of us who are on the fringes because of illness, because they feel alone, because they are struggling. We share names aloud in this space to bring that intention of healing, to bring that reminder that healing is possible, but mostly that there are people who care, people who love. So if you are remembering, not remembering, but thinking of someone, holding someone in prayer for healing, I invite you to rise and be recognized, and I'll come around and we'll pray together for a moment. to the names that you've shared with me and those that you are writing in the chat. Our community is praying for Stephanie Levitt, Marilyn Greenwald, Marsha Margolin, Francie Karp, Evan Bin, Lynn Etlinger, Larry Margolis, Gary Verbin, Larry German, Rebecca Frazier, Marcel Frazier, Sherry Berenstein, Maxine Rogo, Pari Meskin, David Habib, Anna Tran, Lev Heschel Ben Bat Ami, Suzanne Price, the Carney Friedman family, Carol Kleinman, Art Miller, Sergio Ripka, Carol Penn, Jessica Bobson, Abdullah Ibrahim, Cindy Brines, Louis Eliskew, Dolores Gould, Alicia Vachana, 
Father Eric Hines, Michael McNally, Helene Gagnon, Sophia Khanna, Betty Nazarian, Rita Harai, John Tibbetts, Marilyn Schmidt, and Glenn Kesselman. Shlema, a full healing. So tonight we have learned about relationships, whether platonic, romantic, collegial, familial, or communal in a Jewish context. And we were reminded that in all relationships, though there may be despair and hardship, joy and sweetness can return to us. We have affirmed that relationships must allow for our own shortcomings, but can help us repair together. And the holiday of Tuba Av teaches us that loving relationships rely on lifting up our eyes to truly see people for who they are. And so tonight I wanted to invite those who are here in a relationship who want to be seen by our community, whether you're here with a child or a grandparent or a lover or a friend, to stand on the bima and receive a blessing that honors love. So don't be shy. If you want a blessing tonight, come up and we're gonna stand before the open ark. I'm gonna ask that everyone also rise because our ark doors will be open. Thank you for being seen and witnessed by our community, for celebrating love in all forms. I want to ask for this blessing on this tuba of this holiday of love. Dear God, eternal source of blessing, we turn to you in gratitude for the strength and devotion that has preserved and sustained these couples, friendships, and family relationships. We are grateful that you have come into our presence to acknowledge the joys and struggles of existing in relationship. Many and varied experiences have you all endured together. You recall the joys that grace your days with light and beauty, and you remember the dark storms that shook you. In joys and trials alike, O God, you have been with them. And so may you continue to be with them, guiding and sustaining you all in years to come. But may the joy of sharing lives together be loving and good. And as we help each other bear burdens, as we help each other bear burdens and share happy moments. Let years of love and friendship be honored with good health and contentment, surrounded by larger circles of family and loved ones and of offering love and care to others around you all. Say, Baruch Ata Adonai, Ohev Amo Yisrael. Blessed are you, Adonai, who loves your people, Israel. And now you are, most of you already have your arms around each other, but if you want to put your arms around each other for this special blessing, we'll say, May God bless you and may God keep you. 
อย่าเอรนายพนาเบลาค่ะบิคุณะค่ะ May God's light shine down upon you and be gracious to you. ฮิสาอรุณายพนาเบลาค่ะเวียเซมละค่ะชาลอม And may you feel God's presence existing between you two in relationship. And may you be granted shalom, peace. Amen. Thank you. Happy t u b a a So the blessing was the easy part. The hard part was knowing what love song to sing <laughs> in honor of Tuba Av, because there are so many. Because only love can be, because love has to be expressed in song. Um, so I'm going to let Schwa choose a song. Just one. Just one. Just one. Sing together. All right. <laughs> Our temple president Roxanne Cohen to share some more ways that you can get involved in our community. Hi, Shabbat Shalom. It's nice to see you and meet some new people tonight and old friends. I'm totally feeling the love. And Shwa, there's like a twinkle in your eye when you like turn to. Look at our rabbi, and it's quite beautiful. I also know that there's a lot of love on Zoom. Your mom Andy is there from Pennsylvania, and Rabbi Lisa's parents, who are regulars, are tuning in from Westchester County, New York. So, filled with love, um, and thank you so much for a beautiful service tonight. Some of you may also know we had 18 families in a park with Cantor Alana and Allison um, celebrating. 
family love and a Tat Shabbat kind of way. So we were really a full community tonight. Um, the Schenker family, Mazel Tov, clearly love here, surrounded, uh, Danny, you're surrounded by all kinds of people who tonight and tomorrow who are just going to celebrate you and, and lift you up um, as you are called to Torah. So good luck, Mazel Tov. Um, of course, as always, many things going on. Some you've heard about already. August 28th, we have a brunch hosted by the Brotherhood and Bethel Women, another opportunity to have a meet and greet with our new rabbis, Genevieve and Rabbi Rebecca. And if you're here already, you can also join our Road Fate Tzedek for a garden work afternoon. Um, the brunch is 10.30 until 1. The garden is at noon, so um, lots going on. Um, of course, we also know we're in the ramp up to high holidays. So while there will be more activities and more you'll hear unfolding about services and ways to get involved, um, we also just want to be a little bit patient with our clergy, with our professional team, and know that they are um, really working behind the scenes to make sure that we have um, a beautiful experience. So just ask for your patience. Um, but in the meantime, we are getting into the month of Elul, and um, if you would like to begin a period of reflection leading up to the high holidays, you're invited to join Rabbi Genevieve and Rabbi Rebecca for a hike on Wednesday, August 31st, 5.30 p.m. in Laurelwood Park. It's a sort of gentle stroll, all levels, and a lot of time for reflection and introspection. Um, I will be there, and I hope you'll join me. Um, other things you can do is order honey, which helps to benefit Bethel women, and you can put it on your Rosh Hashanah table, give it to your friends, and um, just stay in touch, and we'd love to see you throughout the, the rest of the, the summer. Good luck to everyone starting school, returning to colleges, starting new schools. Um, it's, a, it's an exciting time for all of us. So Shabbat Shalom, and thank you. So the flip side of love is that with it comes grief. That when we lose someone we love, that pain, that loss is irreplaceable. And many of us are here tonight because you are saying Kaddish, because you're remembering loved ones. So I know in recent losses in our community, we are remembering Anna Cahan and Sid Jacobson. If you are here tonight remembering someone and would like to rise uh, to be recognized by the community, I invite you to do so. And some of you are here on Zoom. We are remembering Helen Bloom, Oliver Bonnervith, Roberta Steinhardt Ehrlich, Margaret Friedman, Esther Friedman, Mr. Gary Goldberg, Murray Graff, Ed Heyman, Sheldon Horvich, Margot Parker Hudson, Dorothy Huppert, Elliot Jacobs, Joseph Jonesy, Milton Judd, Hannah Kemkar, Max Levens, Margaret Levitt, Marvin Linder, Mary Luby, Dorothea Mayer, Kathleen McCaffrey, Sydney Mayers, Moses Prozan, Janine Rabin, April Reichlin, Hannah Rubin, George Sachs, Enid Schwartz, Sally Shafton, Ronald Schur, Theodore Schulman, Lydia Simonson, Barbara Wagenfeld, and Gertrude Zondek. If there's any names that I left off or mispronounced and you want to share some on Zoom. We rise as one community together to say Kaddish on page 294. Yitz Gadal, Vyitz Kadash Shme Raba, Vyama Divrah Hirte, Vyam Lich Malhute, Bechayechon, Vyomechon, Vchayed Hobe Israel, Baagala, Vizman, Kari, Vimru, Amen. Yehe Shme Raba, Mevrach, Leolam, Olme, Omaya, Yitz Barach, Vish Tabach, Vit Paar, Vit Roman, Vit Nase, Vit Hadar, Vit Ale, Vit Halal, Shme de Kedusha, Berichu, Leela min kol berchata veshirata, tush bechata venechamata, dami ron beama vimru amen. 
Yehe Shlama Rabba Min Shemaya, Vechaim Alenu Vel Kol Yisrael, Vimru Amen. Ose Shalom Bim Romav, Huya Ose Shalom, Alenu Vel Kol Yisrael, Via Kol Shvetevel, Vimru Amen. We say, Zikr Nam Levracha, may their memory be for a blessing. And we remain standing as Dana Shanker, our bat mitzvah, comes to the bima to lead us in the sweetness of Shabbat in Kiddush and Motzi. Baruch atanai Eloheinu melech haolam Hamotzi lechem Borei peri hagafen Baruch atanai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher kiddushanam b'mitzotav V'ratzavanu V'shabbat kodsho b'yahava U'vratzon hin hilanu Zigaron lemaasei v'reishit Ki hu yom tehila l'migrei kodesh Zecher litziat mitzrayim Ki vanu v'charta v'otanu ki dashta Mikohamim v'shabat kodshaha Be'ahava u'vratzon hin hilanu Baruch Ata Adonai Mekatesh Hashavat. Amen. Lechayim. Lechayim. You can sit down. And then we'll hold the challah together and say, Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Hamotzi Lechem in Aretz. Amen. Yeah, you got a nice big piece. I'll take a little piece, but you can save this challah to share with your brothers and your family. We'll eat it right outside after services, and there will be more challah and treats for everyone. So I hope you stay and introduce yourselves to each other. And I want to thank again Schwa for leading with me tonight, and Roxanne for announcements, and Kate and Max, and of course our facilities and. You all for being here and on Zoom. Shabbat Shalom. We'll meet outside.